draw a rectangle at point zero zero. The length should be 1000 the width 30. Move the rectangle. Draw the door lintel. The width of this should now be 100. Draw the door leaf. Apply perpendicular constraint to the rectangle. Use the space key to repeat the command. Use the array command and select the polar option. The center should be the center of the shortest side, now 0, 0. The items should be 7 pieces and the between should be 15 degrees. Explode the array. You can delete items. Now add the equal constraint, so that all rectangles are equal to the line marking the door lintel. Test this. Draw the curve of the door opening with a dotted line. Create the block. The base point of the block should be the center of the polar array. The first parameter should be linear, which is the size of the door. Make the distance type a list so you can specify the door sizes. Here you only need one grip. The second parameter is also linear, it will be the wall thickness. This type can also be listed with standard wall thicknesses. A grip will be enough here too. Add a stretch action to the first parameter. Add to this action the rectangles, the lines of the door lintel and the door leaf in the stretch area. Now add a scale action also for the first parameter. Add the arcs to this action. Also add a stretch action to the wall thickness.
For this action you only need to add the lines of the two door leaves and one line of the door lintel. Assign an alignment parameter to the block to easily align it to the wall. Finally add a visibility parameter to set the different opening angle. Create the states in the visibility panel. In this case, five states are required. Closed, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. The order can be changed. Select a state. Make invisible any objects that should not be visible in the current view. The block is ready and you can set the size, the wall thickness and the opening angle according to the dimensions given in the list. The block can be aligned to the wall after insertion. A copy of the block can be adapted to another wall in the same way. You can change the opening direction in properties. The same properties can be changed in groups. If the door is in the correct position, you can also use the trim command.